A poor V and her older sister Rhea always loved the same games. They would chase each other in the garden. They would play hide and seek. And when they got a little older, they shared the same books and clothes. My sister is my best friend, a poor V would think, sitting next to her at dinner. But one year, Rhea changed. She stopped wanting to play and talk and laugh. She was always looking down at the ground. And she spent a lot of time alone in her room. What's wrong with Rhea? A poor V asked her mother. A poor V's mother seemed sad, and she gave a poor V a big hug. Rhea has depression. Depression is an illness that makes you feel very sad and tired. It can make you feel lonely, even when you are surrounded by family and friends. But what can we do to help her? Apoorvi asked. She felt ready to do anything. That night at dinner, Apoorvi's father asked Rhea to tell them about how she was feeling. Everyone listened to her and tried to cheer her up. We will love you and help you no matter what, he said. After this, Apoorvi asks her sister how she is feeling all the time. When she is sad, she tries to make her day better. She brings her sweet treats or takes her outside for a walk in the sun. Sometimes this helps Rhea, but it doesn't always. Raya starts to go see the school counselor, Miss Annika. Miss Annika's job is to help students who are having a difficult time to listen to them and give them support. One day, Apoorvi and Rhea are sharing a snack, and Rhea thanks Apoorvi for all of her help. Without talking to you, I would have felt so much worse. Lots of kids have no one to talk to, and lots of schools don't have counselors. I feel very lucky. That night, Apoorvi puts her head on her pillow, but her eyes stay open. She can't sleep. Apoorvi is glad that she was able to help her sister. But what about all the other kids who don't have supportive families or counselors in their schools? In school the next day, Apoorvi goes to visit Miss Anika. I want to help spread the word about depression to other schools. I want to help children like Rhea. My sister, it will be hard, Ms. Annika says. People are afraid to talk about mental health in India, and many don't believe it's an important problem. A poor V is determined to try to do something to help, even if it will be very difficult. A poor V and Ms. Annika think of solutions together. How can they show the school and the government? that mental health is an important issue. We can do a survey, a poor V shouts excitedly. We can ask students questions about how they're feeling. A poor V and Ms. Annika visit a nearby school. They give the survey to hundreds of students, and the teachers are surprised at the answers they see. Many students feel sad, anxious, or lonely. Many students need help. We must support our students. One teacher says, Mental illness can affect anyone. The teachers agree to start teaching students and their families about mental health and illnesses like depression and anxiety. They come in after school hours and hold extra classes. After one of these classes, a student named Ishan introduces himself to Apoorvi. I think what you're doing is so important, he says. I have seen a change 
in how my teachers support students. How can more students at my school get involved with this project? Soon, there are several other students who want to help. Together with her team of student volunteers, Apoorvi takes her survey and mental health classes to seven more schools. In total, she helps over 3,000 students, but there's still more to do. Apoorvi thinks to herself, when I grow up, I want to be a counselor. Then I can keep helping and making change.